After surveying hundreds of business owners, one of the most common reasons that stop them from creating content consistently is that they don't know what topics to talk about. They don't know what topics their audience finds interesting, what topics are going to attract more clients, what topics are going to generate more business. They don't know what their audience actually wants them to speak on. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to generate infinite content ideas with ChatGPT so that you never have to worry about what to talk about or what your audience actually wants to hear from you. That way you don't have to waste your time trying to keep up with the algorithm or keep up with all the trends and you can create videos that actually lead to more leads and eventually more clients. And because I know your time is super valuable, there's timestamps down below. So get ready. I'm going to be screen recording a whole bunch. So make sure to follow along with me. So one of the biggest misconceptions that stops people from using social media effectively is that they create videos that they think are valuable. Now, at first hand, it sounds like it's a pretty good thing. But value is determined by the viewer, not by what we think is great. So it doesn't matter how great our idea is, it doesn't matter how new or how important, how valuable we may think our videos are. If people aren't asking for the videos, then it doesn't matter. It's not valuable. And so a lot of us, what we do is we create all these videos and never spend any time asking our actual target audience, what are the core problems that they're struggling with? What are the common pain points, roadblocks? What are the results that they want? We never spend any time actually surveying our audience. And so we're just playing this giant guessing game and hoping that something sticks. Now, surveying a bunch of people is very time consuming. And sometimes we may not have that time. So I'm going to show you a cool little AI tool that actually shows you what people are searching for in your specific market, in your specific industry. And it's ranked by search volume. So you don't never have to guess again. You can get the answers right now as to what people are currently struggling with and looking up on the internet. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna open up a brand new tab and I want you guys to follow along with me. All righty, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna type in the search bar, www.answerthepublic.com. And this is what the website is going to look like, right? Boom, there's a search bar here. This is what the landing page looks like. Now, if you never used it before, all you're gonna do is click here where it says create free account. And then you can log in with your email. You can log in with your email and password or Google. I'm going to log in with Google. Alrighty, now I am back. So this is what it looks like when you finally log in when you, after you created your free account. It looks a little bit different, but we're going to take it one step further. So when you see the button that says upgrade, we're going to click on upgrade. From here, we're going to click on individual and click on start my free trial. All right. So what we're going to do here, when you upgrade to one of the paid plans, you get access to so much more data. And also in the next step, when we start exporting the CSV files, if you're on the free plan, it gives you limited information. And we're going to need to input that into ChatGPT. So we're going to create a free trial. No worries. After this video is over, cancel. The, feel free to cancel the trial. This is what I personally do. I actually never stuck with them for more than a week. I just use my free trial, search up the keyword that I need. And then after I cancel. So this is what I personally do when I'm looking up new keywords that I could potentially rank for and to make new videos on. So I'm going to click on start my free trial. I'm going to put in my information and then we're going to be right back. All right. Once your payment goes through, it should look a little something like this. So we're going to click on get started. And now from here, we're all good to go. So in this search bar right over here, we're going to see where it goes to YouTube. Make sure to click on YouTube. And then from here, we're going to type in a keyword that you want to make videos on. So if you're real estate, it could be buying a home or selling a home. If you're in the finance space, right, personal finance space, it could be credit repair. It could be uh, personal finance. It could be budgeting. It could be checking accounts or savings accounts, right? In my case, I talk a lot about AI, ChatGPT. This video specifically, we're going to be using ChatGPT. So that's the keyword I'm going to use, ChatGPT. And then I'm just going to hit search. And so from here... It's going to start generating a bunch of search results that contain the keyword chat GPT or the keyword that you put in on your end. And it's going to rank all the searches by search volume. And it's going to show you. So I'm going to walk through all of this stuff right now and what it means. So right here we have search volume. As you can see, this is pretty good. A lot of people are searching for things using the keyword chat GPT, right? And then if you hover over this little question mark, it shows you it shows you how they calculate the search volume. Then over here you see cost per click. You don't have to worry about this unless you're doing some type of advertisements. That's not an area of expertise for me, so I'm not going to speak on that. But if you are an expert in ads or you're planning to do ads, this could be very important for you. And then from there we're going to scroll down, and now we have this big wheel over here. 
and this wheel has a bunch of questions, right? Using R, can, who, what, where, when, why, will, how, right? And the keyword that you searched in. So let's look at some of these questions that people are searching for, right? Can ChatGPT generate images? Will ChatGPT replace programmers? Let's see, who owns ChatGPT? Which ChatGPT app is best for MacBook? So these are all potential video ideas that I can start making, right? Because people are searching this up. Now it gets even better. Let's see over here. As you can see, it's highlighted orange. And now some are darker than others. So the darker the orange, the more search volume that term has. So if you're looking to make videos on only the things that are being the highest search, all you have to do is look at which ones are, har are highlighted the darkest. And those are going to be your most searched terms, right? So right here, what ChatGPT4 can do, right? What ChatGPT Plus can do? These rank the best over here, right? In this section, what chat, when ChatGPT is Asian, I don't know why that's trending, but <laughs> when ChatGPT does your homework, when will ChatGPT 4.0 be available, right? So this will be a good video right here, right? And so on and so forth. But then it gets even better because if you scroll down a little bit more, it has more search terms that people are looking up. Again, ranked with the darker the orange, the higher the search volume. And then it has even more. And just off of this alone, you probably never need to come up with ideas ever again. As I said, it has over 766 results. But we're not going to go through all of them. You guys kind of get the idea. The next thing that we're going to do is over here where it says download CSV. We're going to click here. And then a CSV file will be uploaded. Now, the next step that we're going to do is we're going to go into our Google Drive because there's a couple things that we need to take out first before we upload it into ChatGPT directly. All right. So now that we're here in Google Drive, what we're going to do is on the top left hand corner where it says new, we're going to click here. Click on where it says file upload, and then we're going to upload the CSV file that we just got from Answer the Public. We're going to upload that. Once the upload is complete, we're going to click on it down here in the bottom right hand corner, and then we're going to click on open with, and then click on Google Sheets. Once you open up your Google Sheet, it should look a little something like this. So now what we're going to do here is we're going to click on this first column right here, the A column, we're going to right click it. And we're going to just hit delete column. Right, then when I click on the A column again, click on delete column, and then we're going to make this a little bit bigger. We're going to click on language. And we're going to delete this column, region. We're going to delete this column, keyword, delete this column. And then cost per click, we're going to delete this column as well. Now from here, this little box in this left hand corner where my, my mouse is, we're going to click here and that'll highlight everything. And then we're going to follow my mouse to this right hand side. And you see this funnel button right here, this funnel icon, it's called filter. So we're going to click on filter, right? And then go hover over the B column. And this little filter spot right here, we're just going to filter from A to Z, or sorry, we're going to filter from Z to A. Boom. And now this has all of the keywords or the search terms, and they're going to rank by the search volume, right? And so we have a bunch of terms here, as you can see, almost what, 767 um, or so, or 66 based off of search volume. Now this is ready to upload. So we're going to go to file. We're going to go to download. And we're going to download as a CSV file. From here, our next step is we're going to go into chat GPT. So I'm going to open up and log in and then I'll be right back. Alrighty, so now I'm here in chat GPT. And as you can see, I already have a prompt that's in here. If you want this exact prompt, all you have to do is look in the description and you can copy and paste it and follow along with the video. So I'm going to read this for you guys. It says, act as a social media marketing expert with a background in direct response marketing. I want you to attract more clients through my social media content and I want you to consult me. My business helps and in brackets, insert your target audience with insert core problems and pain points, get insert dream outcome right? You have two objectives as my consultant. One, 
come up with innovative and unique content ideas that will help my target audience achieve their dream outcome. Two, help me figure out which content ideas will perform the best based off of search volume. Now, before we begin, I will upload a CSV file with all the highest ranking search results for the keywords, insert your keyword. Then I want you to analyze it. And before you start consulting me, I want you to analyze it before you start consulting me. Finally, do you understand? Question mark. That is our prompt. Again, if you want to follow along with what I'm doing step by step, this exact prompt is going to be in the description. So let's start filling in the brackets, right? Wherever you see brackets, I want you guys to fill in. So the first thing here, insert target audience. My target audience are real estate agents and business owners with core problems slash pain points, right? Core problems, struggling with social media. They're not tech savvy. Don't have the time to learn AI or create content. And then, then my dream outcome, more clients from social media. We're gonna scroll down a little bit. At the very bottom, the keyword that I typed in was chat GPT. And then once we fill in all the brackets, all we have to do is hit enter and let chat GPT work its magic. Alrighty. Now chat GPT responded. And as you can see, it says, got it, John, I'm ready to review the CSV file and dive into consulting. Once I analyze the data, please upload the file. Now here's a secret tip, right? Chat GPT can provide even more personalized and even better, more higher quality responses. When you learn how to prompt it properly, I made a whole video on how to prompt ChatGPT. We're not doing that today. Just copy and paste the prompts. But also, and also when you use the custom instructions feature, which is in the ChatGPT settings, you can tell ChatGPT a lot about yourself. So it already has an idea as to what your business is and who you are and can provide you, as I said, even better responses. Now, I made a whole video walking through ChatGPT and how to set it up. I'm going to put the link in the description down below in case you want to watch that after you finish this video. But that's a topic for another day. Again, we're here to get infinite content ideas with ChatGPT. So what we're going to do next is whether you see this paperclip icon, right? We're going to click on it and we're going to upload from computer and then click the most recent file that you just uploaded, right? The file that we uh, um, edited, right? Boom. And then we're going to type in analyze this file, hit enter. Now, as you can see, ChatGPT is starting to provide me a response. It says the CSV file contains two main columns, suggestions and search volume. For example, ChatGPT login has a search volume of 673,000. ChatGPT 4 has a search volume of 246,000. ChatGPT app volume 165,000. Now I have a sense of the data. I can start helping you craft ideas based on the highest ranking keywords to attract more clients through social media. Here's how I suggest we move forward. And now ChatGPT is going to start giving me ideas, right? Um, content ideas and best performing keywords. So now I'm going to ask ChatGPT, give me three innovative and let's say novel. Yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm just messing up. I'm just playing around with it as we go. Um, content ideas for a video about let's see, um, the new features of chat gpt plus and just hit enter let's see what it comes up with all right so here's idea number one the ai assistant you never knew you needed right the concept create a dynamic engaging video showing how chat gpt plus can serve as a 24 7 personal assistant for busy real estate agents and business owner idea number two from ideas to execution chat gpt plus your creative partner right frame chat gpt plus as a creative partner that helps real estate agents and business owners brainstorm content ideas that's exactly what we're actually doing right now i create marketing strategies and improve branding right and idea number three how chat gpt plus can automate your business so you don't have to focus on the automation benefits of chat gpt plus for handling tedious repetitive tasks etc cetera, etc cetera. now and just like that i have three ideas that I've got in just a couple minutes, right? It probably only took 30 seconds for ChatGPT to generate this once we input all the information. Now, here's another thing that you could do that's super savvy and help you come up with more ideas. Let's say you already have a content idea, right? Let's say I want to make a video on, let's say I want to use ChatGPT 4.0 to create content ideas, which is what we're pretty much doing right now in this video live. And I could type in something like this. I want to create a video on how to use chat gpt to create content ideas and then type in how well do you think this would perform based on the search volume and then hit enter and now it's going to use all the data that we input from the csv file to get to pretty much consult me based on the video topic so based off of what chat gpt has so far here's what it says creating a video on how to use chat gpt for generating content ideas perform exceptionally well based on the current search trends. 
Let's break it down. And then it's proceeding to break down why it thinks it will be a good idea. And now ChatGPT is taking a little bit to generate. But in the meantime, another cool tip that you can do, right, is if you go to the left-hand side over here, and you hover over where these three dots is where it says options, click on it, click rename, and then type in content idea generator. And then hit enter. Now you never have to worry about content ideas ever again. If you ever log out of ChatGPT or refresh your page and you want to pick up where you left off, you can go right into ChatGPT and find it right away. Organizing ChatGPT is a really helpful trick to make sure you don't get this, uh, one disorganized and you don't lose what, you want, what you're working on. It can be very easy once you start using ChatGPT pretty often to have a whole bunch of conversations on the side. And if you're not naming your conversations, it's going to be very difficult to work efficiently and effectively because you're going to be spending so much time trying to find the last chat or the chat you need. All right. So make sure to name all your chats. And now anytime you need a content idea, you know to go to your content idea generator and it's proven on data. Not guessing, not I hope it will work. All the ideas that it's going to generate are coming directly from what people are searching online. Now, what you could also do is since we're on this free trial on Answer the Public, you can search multiple keywords and just upload multiple CSV files and pretty much rinse, wash, repeat. And what I would do is instead of uploading those CSV files into brand new conversations, I would upload all those C CSV files into the same conversation that we were just in for content gene generators. And that way it has a larger pool to pull from, right? Instead of just having one CSV file based on the search term chat GPT, I could do a CSV file on the search term artificial intelligence, social media, content creation, social media marketing, right? And then put, upload all those CSV files into chat GPT. Of course, we'll have to fix them like we did for this CSV file. But once I fix them, upload them all into ChatGPT and then have ChatGPT analyze all those different data points. And what I actually may do, once I stop recording this video, I'm about to just do that for myself and then use that and see how well it does. And then make another video, let's say a couple months from now, and showcase what the results were from all my ChatGPT generated ideas. That would be a pretty interesting video also. Um, I may just have to do that for the future, but anyways, that's it for this video. If you found it valuable, make sure to hit that like button, make sure to subscribe. And if you want to use the prompt that I, uh, use for this video specifically, make sure to check in the description. And also if you want my AI starter kit, which has another of my top 10 best prompts to help you grow your business, help you save time, energy, and money. The link for that is also in the description. And again, if you want to see the video where I walk through how to transform ChatGPT into the world's greatest personal assistant, and you can train it to get more personalized, more effective results, make sure to click this video right here, and I'll catch you in the next one.